nochmal kurz eine kleine Ankündigung. Unser Spezialgast ist heute angekommen. Hey, cool. Auf äh, Leute, die vielleicht ein Auge drauf haben, haben gesehen, dass Mr. Eric Patterson Ringman oben in der Eingangshalle sitzt. Oh, Eric. Uh. Äh, ich muss mich mal verabschieden. Ich habe gemerkt, ich kann gar nicht so lange raten. Ich komme vielleicht später nochmal. Äh, ich muss mich für BFFC verabschieden gerade hier. Alles klar. Okay, dann, dann noch vielen Dank Spaß, fürs ne? Mitmachen und schönen Abend noch. Gleich aus. Euch ja. Abend. Tschüss, ne? Tschüss. Ciao. Erik Ringman Petersen. Tschüss. So, hallo, guten Abend zusammen. Hallo, hallo. Hallo, hallo. So, wir haben hier einen Überraschungsgast. Gast, sagen wir mal. Ihr habt sicher schon gesehen, wer reingekommen ist. Ringman. Ja. Ringman. Ringman. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. We salute you. Nice. <lacht> You can get to it with the German. <laughs> I'm an almost tikka taka tikka taka. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's it, that's all I know. But that's more Bavarian or not? <laughs> yeah, as long as there's beer involved, it's good for me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, um, we had the luck that Eric had some time for today, for this evening for us. User but he is in a short, uh, how to say, on a short line at the moment because afterwards Wingman has to go again for his family business, let's say like that. No, uh, just, I, have a, I have a soccer game. My, my son has a soccer game. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's That's playing he's for sure priority one. Yeah, he's playing football today in San Antonio, so we got to run down there and do that. Yeah, and in the US it's a bit different to play against another state or something like that, you know. Here in Switzerland, in two hours you cross the whole Switzerland, so it's not no we're problem. We're playing, we're, we're playing a team from Mexico today, so... Oh, that's uh, gonna be fun. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so nice to have you here, Eric. Thank you, good so, to be um, Yes, so um, we uh, um, agreed that we will uh, do a little interview for sure uh, about Eric and his new project and also what Eric is doing now afterwards mm -hmm. when he left the, um, the uh, CIT the and ship. so on what <laughs> yes the mothership <laughs> let's say like that the expensive the expensive you mothership said <laughs> yeah you said that it was not me <laughs> let's for, let's say that okay so now um, Eric let's begin with that <laughs> so when you left CIG <laughs> Mm -hmm. What User joined your channel. What was then the first the first idea in your head to do to do a snakes? For sure you had before some ideas, but really when you left, what was the first task you did? Well the first the first task I did was was um, reach out to friends of mine because um, you know, I love making games and I love making space games and so I've always wanted to make um, what, what it, when 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 Chris and I were making I think it was wing three or wing four We got hooked on this game called Descent. I'm sure everybody remembers Descent. Um, in fact, it probably delayed the release of Wing of Wing Commander by a couple months because every day at six o'clock we would start playing Descent over the land. It was just amazing. Love the six degrees of freedom. Love flying in there. Think that the the ability to <coughs> confine the space and make it to where it keeps keeps the battles because if you can go six degrees of freedom in open space, you just go all over the place. It's very hard to hit anything. So I love that that piece and so we, we started thinking okay well User you know it's that, that game sold like 40 million units and there's not been another one since I think the third one came out and kind of went away in 99 and so we were like well let's try to see if we can resurrect that gameplay and so we started there and started building a demo and building a team and building a Kickstarter and yeah that's what we were doing so day one you hit the ground going you know okay I don't want to move to LA let's go, let's go do something else yeah Oh, yeah, that's right. You said that in the forums that you huh? that you don't want to go there because the family is for sure oh, yeah, um, the sure. first priority. I know. I'm just saying. Well, oh, hold on a minute, mate. Winglet's interrupting. Yes. You. What? Oh. For what? I don't have a Descendant Studios. This is a Twitch stream, but we don't use it right yet. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. I, I missed so. the last question. My fault. Yeah. No. 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 It's no problem. No problem. No problem. So yeah, uh, this is that what you uh, also told that in the forums that you don't would like to move over there because uh, of the family and and all the other parts that, yeah, well, that, that kept you over uh, there. 
there's some history there. We, we when I was with working with Chris and Aaron at Digital Anvil, we were making this game called Star um, Star Lancer, and yes, I was traveling back and forth to England for you know like every two weeks, back and forth for two and three weeks, and it was Wayne that was like one years old at the time or just been born, and so oh, okay. yeah, I, I missed I missed like his first steps. I missed his first soccer goal. I missed so much doing all that traveling. And I promised my wife that I'm not going to do that again. I'll just, I'm just not going to do it again. So when this came up, I love Star Citizen. I love being on it. I love being one of the founders of the company. I loved everything we we're doing. I don't like LA. <laughs> so I wasn't about <laughs> to move. And, and it's like, you know, my family comes first in all decisions. And so even though, even though it was very hard and Chris was very generous in giving us time to figure out what we we're going to do, there just was no real. There's just no way I was moving. So um, it was an easy decision. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it was an easy decision. It was a hard decision, but it was it was pretty clear what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. When you already you know, saw that is, in front. So this is real life, man. That's gonna be going on for 10, 15, 20. They'll be building that game forever. You know, at a huge project. So you know, I wish them luck. I think they got a lot to do, and, and you know, don't get to it. It's just gonna take a while. Yes. That's that's true. That's true. But now there are some some already uh, feedbacks here. You should finally change your microphone. It's still the same <laughs> no, no, uh, you microphone mean, you, you mean, use. You mean the one I'm using right now is too, is, is crappy? Uh, no, the microphone when you are talking it, it pitches you quite a lot. Oh uh, well, that's okay. Um, let me. That's my voice. Okay, so I actually have a good microphone, but you see, I have one, two, three, four. I have six computers in this area. And the yeah. one I placed, the one I placed our citizen on, has the Samsung, the, the the Mr. Senior Microphono, and that's got a really good mic. The one I've got now is on my headset, so I'll try to tone it down a little bit, not yeah, oh, not make okay, a pitch. Okay. That, that's that's better, that's better, yes. So because okay. it, it pitched really a little bit, that's so, my fault. Uh, then some people are also now already when they followed your information that you also talked by Michael Morlin and also um, I think yesterday it was or today no yesterday when you also streamed shortly um, people are asking now so when you do then a kickstarter mm-hmm. you know already yeah. when well, you would like to launch yes I do but I can't <laughs> it's not really up to us right now we're, it's um we're waiting on approval from Kickstarter to you know to go through everything and make sure it's good, and then we'll announce it. So what will happen is here's the here's the way it'll work. So Kickstarter will approve the the thing. I think we're pretty close, and then we'll have three or four days where we do interviews with the press, where we don't mm-hmm. we, we we line them up and say, okay, we're talking to you, but because there's some pretty big announcement coming. It's it's the the name of the game or the working title was Ships That Fight Underground, but that's not really going to be the yeah. title, and so. The STFU, yeah, right. Yeah, that's not really the title. That's just, for, you know, that's me. That's just being funny. You know, so, so <laughs> under, Underground will be part of it, but there'll be something before that that's very important that I think people will like. And um, so so we'll go do the interviews. We'll talk to the, all the press, and then we'll have a live stream. Mike and I will do a live stream. We'll launch our new show, Wingman's Hangout, and then we'll do a button push where we turn we push the button in Kickstarter and our store and website go live on our at the Senate Studios. We have a whole new web page and store and stuff coming. Um, and then it'll all go live at once and then we'll talk, we'll take some calls from people on Skype and on Twitch that, you know, the first people that pledge and that get in and why they're in and why they think this is important and, you know, that kind of stuff. So that'll all happen. Um, as soon as Kickstarter lets us know we'll, that we're ready, you'll see a countdown go up on our website and then you'll know the exact time. Yeah. Uh, okay, this, uh, this means everything else already is already prepared to start that then afterwards. It's getting really close, yeah. It's yeah, really close. Oh, that's we've got, nice, we've that's got a, nice, we've got a nice. very nice game demo, we've got a very nice, um, our ships are, inter- you, you can customize your ships very easily. Um, yeah, it's yes. pretty cool. So there is already a part that then, a demo that people can try and do already. Well, no, people aren't going to be able to fly around in it, we're going to show it to them, but we're not, you know, we're not ready to release anything yet. That's going to ah, be okay, six, okay. six months down the road or so. Okay, it's an internal demo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, fine, fine, fine. So we are all eager to see then afterwards um, how it looks like. Some people make already some assumptions or some, ah, it can't be like that. So you hear some rumors around. <laughs> That's why I think... Uh, really? I think well, it's, it, the will way be, I look, it will the be... The way good. I look at it, y- y- think about it this way. Okay, so for me... Star Citizen's like Star Trek. It's all clean and beautiful and shiny. 
we're going to be more like Firefly, dirty, gritty, you know, oh, nice. you know, heart, you know, oh, that yeah. kind of thing. So it's just a little, you know, it'll be it'll be beautiful. I mean, if you, our ships are our first iterations, we have eight ship types. The first one is around fifty to sixty thousand polygons. We're baking the textures and materials in at ten k, so they look beautiful. They look really cool, but they're also gritty. They also look scuffed up. I mean, this is inside asteroids. This is your mining, right? This is like a it's a it's a style of um, it's a style of look we want. So, you know, we, mm-hmm. I don't want to look mm-hmm. like I don't want to look like a race car or a Ferrari or something. I want to look like a you know like a, a Kubelwagen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. you you got Not some bad, really. you got some words up from from Germany, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you think? Is there also a possibility, maybe, for some old Use backers with Star channel. Citizen that they can maybe expect you one time also as a guest, let's say like that, on the next Star Citizen community uh, event or something like that? No, oh, I'd love to. I mean, I've, I've reached out to, the, to Star Citizen, and I think they're going to support us. And so I'd love to do a cross-promotion with them. It's up to them completely as to, you know, because, you know, they've got their own universe, we've got our universe, but they do kind of collide a little, so... Um, you know, who knows? I mean, it'd be fun to go to Gamescom and be like the opening act for Chris's thing, but that'll be up to that'll be up yeah. to them. They'd they'd have to make that call. That would be nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. are there some dumb um, people here that have some specific questions for Wingman? Okay, I I First, have fireball head, fireball. <laughs> okay, fireball. Uh, I think that we met each other uh, at the at the Cologne twice, and awesome. um, I was also at your forum. And uh, I have to say, I was I hope that you will do something like Conquest Frontier World. Is there any chance that you will do a, a oh, Conquest Frontier wow. World? Please, dude, fire, <laughs> fireball. It's 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 great to, to talk to you. Um, I want to do Conquest 2 so bad. It's about 60% done, but I need – it costs money to do I, it. I know, I know. And so <laughs> it, it's funny you mention that because I did a Kickstarter before Star Citizen, which actually taught Chris and I a lot about what not to do for the Kickstarter before we did the Star <laughs> Citizen one because we didn't – you know, we naively thought that it would do – so, yes, there's a chance, but it's not right now. Okay. You know, unless unless I do it with like you and a bunch of group of fans that, that want to just create a, a thing and do it like a volunteer. So let me get this. Let me get underground off the ground. Underground. Oh, okay. Off okay. The ground. Fair enough. <laughs> and then, and, but I would love to finish it. Conquest is it's dear to my heart. It's just that I don't have the money to finish it. That's just the truth. Because for for you, you are the guy for for of Conquest Frontier Wars. As Chris is for Wing Commander, you are Conquest yeah. Frontier Wars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's hope I get to be that guy for Underground too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for Let's hope that. Yes. Well, no, but listen. The, the thing about RTSs is, is and, and the thing that Kickstarter has done and and uh, and crowdfunding is that it's allowed us as a community or as a group of people, of gamers, to decide what kind of games we want to play. And so, um, role playing space games were dead, and now clearly Chris and the others have proven that they're not really dead. Um, RPGs are coming out of nowhere, out of the woodwork. Like I think Ultima Ascension or the Ascension ones coming out. There's a lot of those out there, and so I think the next thing will be RTSs. But there have not been very many success stories on the RTS side of, of uh, crowdfund yet. But if I can get Underground going well enough, then I'll 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 try to take on Conquest too. I hope that answered your question, Fireball. <clears throat> Yeah, thank, I thank, think you, so. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. So, is there is there another one that has a specific question? Oh, we can hear. There's a nice uh, sound uh, that we hear by Wingman. Yeah, <laughs> the the sound. Sound. Catching. Yes. <laughs> okay. You, are, it down. Uh, you already started. Uh, you already started the launcher. <laughs> are in the hangar? Yeah, I'm in the patch. I'm patching. I have, like I said, I have six computers here, so uh, ah, that's my big. That's my, yeah. That's my big one. I haven't patched in a week, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then the last patch, 103, you're missing, yes. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's right now. It says it's got three minutes, one patch left. You know, I'm, I'm downloaded at 49 meg, though, so it's all right. Yeah, but the problem is still the same, like, um, that... Uh, it will download a small amount of megabyte, but it will update the whole 19 gigabyte on on the data because the, there is no code cleanup at the moment, from what <laughs> I, uh, so from what we know. 
<clears throat> but yeah, let's see, let's see. Hey, that's you, not my you, problem you anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> you, can't, you can't imagine, si since 8 o'clock in the morning here, or uh, respectively, since 10 o'clock in the morning, we are doing tournaments here by Star Citizen, so mm -hmm. um, squadron battle tournaments from one orca to another orca and so on. You can't imagine how much we have to do here to bring that all flying and uh, yeah. Well, and it's funny you mention that. Risky do that in the pre-alpha. <laughs> well, that's a core. That's a core. That's a core element of what we're doing at Descendant. Is that we are literally ours is a team-based MOBA uh, combat game, <laughs> and so um, we're our whole strategy is going to be around organizational combat. And well, you'll have individual combat too, but it'll be around team play. Um, and we're planning to have a World Cup, you know, it's every six months there'll be a big tournament and then there'll be a World Cup for country versus country, so um, oh, okay. big, Ooh, big that's leaderboards, that's big, all that stuff, it's, it's, yeah, it's, um, it's a big strategy for us to, look, everybody, we all get involved in the World Cup and congratulations to Germany, you guys were clearly the class this year, of, or last year huh. of the World Cup, so um, it, it's a huge deal, people are, people are, have national pride and so we want to tie into that and and support that. So there'll be local country tournaments to get the top team in that country, and then those teams will fight for you know the World Cup. <coughs> yeah, sounds pretty nice. Yeah, that sounds really pretty nice. Yes. Yeah. So um, I have here a Moon that has a question for you. Okay. Yes. Hello. Uh, a lot of people here in Germany like your kind. Can you sometimes come in the uh, SNR channel and uh, <laughs> talk about your game and? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, this this is uh, the first time I've been here. Um, you know, it's it's a strange thing, Moon. To to um, believe it or not, you know, it, it's I I like talking about the game, but I don't like talking about me. Does that make sense? You, you sort of, you sort of. I always feel this is a really big team thing because the truth is, any game made is rarely one person. It's like it's hundreds of people, and so it just feels kind of uncomfortable at times to talk about. Um, yourself, but we will come here and talk about um, our game because, it, especially now that we're going to be launching, because we have uh, 36 days to raise the money we need to do it. So it's kind of like, of course, <laughs> yeah, advertisement, yeah. advertisement. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's the only way, the, well, the only way it is, the only way these things get done is if people believe in what you're doing and they believe in you, and then they help spread the word. I mean, because ultimately, you know, we're not buying magazine ads. We're we're talking directly to the people that will be playing our game and saying what do you want and you know and working together to make it happen yes that's true that's true so how big is at the moment the team from the we have studios a, we have about 15 people between um, core and volunteers we have people in Germany actually the guy who's done our uh, done our modeling and our, our map is is he's in Germany um, the guy who's done our game rules is in France. Um, two of the guys working on our website, one's in Japan, one's in uh, East Coast USA. So we have about 15 people overall, all over, you working on it. Your channel. Mm -hmm. And really international, it looks like. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so the difference between what I'm trying to do and what we did before was I really, really want the community to help make the project. I want them involved yes. because I think, there's, I think there's talented people all over the world that don't get a chance, and sometimes as developers, we look at we look at resumes or CVs and go, ah, that guy's not done it before. Well, it doesn't matter if they got the talent, you know. So, we're, if if we if one thing we can do is ship the game and become Descendant Studios University, where people can create stuff for our universe and it's good enough, it goes in. I'd be a happy man. That's true. That's true. And this is also that what uh, what we can see in your forum when you dare make also some. Some uh, how, how do you say that? Uh, some announcements that uh, when people have some talents, please contact yeah, us and sure. show your talent and so on. This is that what I was following in that kind of stuff. But I have to um, I have to be uh, say um, the true. I'm not so many times in your forum. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 well, the thing about our forums right now is because we're not really showing anything. We're kind of dark. It, because we're building up for the big reveal, um, so right. all the people that are signed up now are going to get the the gold campaign ribbon for for being there before the campaign started, and the, you know the gold wingtips those will be gone forever. Um, it's kind of like the golden ticket from Star Citizen, but um, they'll get the gold campaign ribbon, they'll get the Pioneer Medal, and then that goes away March first. 
March 1st, okay. Yeah, that's never to be seen again. And it's not like LTI, it's not coming back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep in mind, March 1st. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. It's, the once well, it's gone in Wingman's Universe, it's gone. <laughs> on, yeah, on our, on our uh, um, uh, community here, or let's say, no, it's, not, it's not our community, but the German community, so mm -hmm. um, Star Citizen Headquarter and Star Citizen News Radio, they say also, when someone says LTI, everyone is saying, Jehovah, Jehovah, <laughs> he said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny, because so. a lot of people have, have asked me to put LTI up there, and I'm like, I, it just doesn't fit into what we're trying to do, but I understand why, you know, why it's there for Star Citizen. Yeah, <coughs> and <coughs> the other part is, um, there was someone question here, oh, you mentioned it a demo, is there maybe something, is a little sneak peek you can... Oh yeah, no, out. we're showing, we're definitely going to be showing the, um, showing some gameplay on the, on the Kickstarter for sure. But today there's nothing one to uh, that shows today. something. <laughs> hmm. I could maybe, I could, you know what, I could maybe show just a frame from it. Let me see if I have it real quick. Um, that would be nice. Ooh. A little exclusive, Ooh. because the people here, they like exclusive things, you know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Who doesn't like exclusive things? <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. I let have me to find, admit, let me find it. Alright, um... Uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's just this is just this is a screenshot of one of the drones in the actual game itself. Let me see. I'm just going to open it. And I'll be able to cut and paste it for you so, guys. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Here we go. You ready? I'll put it in the bottom of the channel. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Uh, let's take a minute. Uh, am I in the Twitch live channel? It, Where am I at? Star Citizen uh, Radio. You are this one? in the yeah Twitch live channel. There you can put it in the. Twitch Where do you want me to put it? Uh, right now I'm in the in the in, Star Citizen the Twitch Radio. PS3, no, Twitch no, uh, live the Twitch, Twitch live channel, yeah, because the other one yeah. you don't have any rights to put that in it. Oh, I don't have any rights. <laughs> yeah, it's the root, it's root. no one then uh, at least fade has rights there. But the other channel yeah. So, here's the link, and uh, we will also put that link in the uh, Twitch channel, for sure. Zank, uh -huh. here they have it. So, Adama, is it possible that you uh, are open it and uh, showing that through the Twitch channel. Of course. At the moment, Adama is streaming. Normally, it was my turn again, but we elongate that a little bit. <laughs> Says Twitch live channel. I've, I've got. I'm, I'm right there. Yes, you are directly on Twitch here. People are uh, listening and seeing also Adama at the moment. But in can there they see it? Can they see your the picture? Can they yeah, see for the sure, uh, for sure. Okay. Right, well, that's <laughs> so. We have eight drones. Yeah. This is this is one of the captures of one of the mining drones. It's called the Augur. <coughs> and it is going to be, um, you know, it's it's built more for getting the minerals out and being more of a hauler and and getting the stuff back to the harvester. Um, think if you think of harvester like Dune, where they would drop the big harvester on the you sands of Arrakis, and, you know, then they would uh, mine the spice. Yes, so these yes. these are kind of the mining ships. These are the ones that will drill through walls and create create tunnels and cavities into other enemies' bases and stuff, and also will be very effective <coughs> at um, mining the resources and minerals. Okay, so you mentioned a Dune, so this means uh, you're also a big fan of that Dune. This was, uh, for me, one oh. of the one User of the best old um, space movies I had on the, for a long time. Yeah. So, so, so there you go. Stan Claus said, instant buy. Thank you very much. <laughs> instant our, buy. <laughs> our, listen, our ships, our ships are only 25 or 30 bucks, so it's not, you can buy, you can, yeah. buy, all, eight, you can buy all eight of them for like $140. We're not looking, we're looking. There's there's a difference between Neiman Marcus. I don't know if you guys have these stores over there and Walmart. <laughs> we want to be Walmart. We want to be. We want to have millions of people playing the game. Um, so we want to have. It's kind of like Counter Strike. You want to have a lot, a lot of people playing. That's how. It, that's how it yep. gets better. So we're not. We're not looking to. Many of our ships are going to be a thousand dollars. Are really expensive. Yeah, it's going to be very, very medium priced where people can get in and play and have fun and that kind of thing. That's another uh, way to do it, yes, but not especially the wrong way. It's a lot of way. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that, well, well, Voldemort wants to buy, but he wants, but he says it has to have LTI. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> instant buy with LTI, and I'm running. Yeah, he said it, Yehovah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, so you guys, that's one of the first sneak peeks we've had. That's not even out there, so I'm sure it'll show not up. Not even on out the there. Ooh, I think this picture will make his. It's okay. His way around the world. <laughs> it's okay. I, 
I can't stop <laughs> people here, you know. The that's alright, I don't mind. That's that's the point. <laughs> I shared it, so. Okay. So, guys and girls, you hear it? Wingman is happy. Yeah. You spread it out. So yeah, just, say, spread just say, it out. Right. Look, look for it, you know, put, put this, I should, probably should have put Descendant Studios on there, but make sure you tell people where it came from so they want to see, you know. Wait, we will we will write that in the chat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And and videos. Space so crawler has a question about the picture you sent us. Mm -hmm. um, is the nose tip a docking point? No, the the nose tip is actually a large beam. That's the mining beam, the drilling beam. Ah, and the scoops underneath will suck in the the minerals that come out. So. Yeah, the, you'll have the, the lasers are actually, on this configuration, and by the way, everything's configurable on this. You can change your your nose, you can change your wings, you can change your tail. Um, everything, you literally can, so all you have is a fuselage that is one type of thing based on what your craft is, and that's upgradable too. Um, you can change the look of it. So this is just one of the many looks of this, of the auger. So this is okay. the nose cam or something. The nose, well, yeah. The, now, in our, in, okay, so think of our game, right? In, instead of <laughs> the, fi the fiction, the fiction of our game is that um, the corporations went out into space. They they fought over asteroids in their in their vehicles themselves, and they were killing pilots left and right. And so the organizations are they got together and said it's really too expensive for us to do business if we're killing each other's pilots. So they agreed to do drones. And so what happens is you're based on a harvester, which is essentially like a carrier, and there's a pod, each person has a pod in the carrier, which you sit in and you can pilot your drones like you're in first person with a HUD and all this other stuff. So you'll be looking for purposes of flying the ship in a cockpit looking out through, but you'll have drones. And so this allows us to, like if you have eight types of drones in, in, and your team is losing and you need to maybe switch to an assault type vehicle, actually one of the vehicles you guys will like this, the tank in our game is called the Panzer. There you go. The Panzer. <laughs> the Panzer, yeah, yeah. I, I was called the Tiger, but nobody was nobody would nobody was getting the reference. So I was like, all right, I'll the Germans get it. The Germans. I know, they, of course they do. You, you guys had the best tanks. And so it's like um so I, we call it Panzer and so uh, I forgot where I was going with this. Anyway, the, the point is you can configure it, you can fly it, you can switch to drones. So say you need to switch to a uh, your team's losing and you have everybody being a an auger. So you say, Okay, let's all I need three of you guys to go be a panzer so you go harass the enemy so they can stop their their, their flow <coughs> of, of minerals so essentially as the as the round is going you can change tactics you can rename yeah. it for the US people that say it's, it's an Abrams yeah. or Sherman or something I'm not yeah. calling this no, that, if, I don't if, think Sherman would be the right one for this no, if, if, you call it Sherman, you'd have, if you call it Sherman you'd have to call it popcorn <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, uh, there, was, there was another question shortly um, that OSG was asking. It's about how big the maps will be in the future, what was planned, and how many players can really... This is a great question. So, map. we're going to have small maps that have, you know, that just two or three or four people can play, all the way up to at least uh, 32, we're aiming for 64. Now, you won't have, like, 64 <laughs> players against each other, right? It'll be, like, mm -hmm. teams of eight. So eight teams of eight will land. All of them will land on the asteroid at once, and they'll have to, they'll have a contract. Essentially, what happens is Earth sends out a contract saying, "I need X amount of water," and so everybody drops onto an asteroid, and they drop in, and then they, there's a battle for that water or that contract. And so the team that wins gets the big contract, and the team that loses, all the other teams that lose, they still make their their contract or the money that they're paid to fly, but they don't get the contract, and so they don't get, there's a little more, there's a bonus for winning, essentially. Um, so that's how it works. So okay, the, okay, that, uh, that's interesting. Player. Yeah. Uh, uh, up to 64 player, that's mm -hmm. quite, quite impressive. And teams of eight, yes, so in mm -hmm. the, I'm, I'm, I'm also, um, uh, how to say, well, teams uh, to start, reading, they, reading yeah. that, what is in the chat here. This is going to be. This knowledge. is going to be. The thing about this, the thing about teams of eight is, we think that's where it's going to be, but that's why we're going to do this with the community because it could be the teams of sixteen are more fun. So, we'll we'll, we'll figure that out along the way. You know, we'll have everybody involved and they'll let us know, and then we'll adjust accordingly. Mm-hmm. And is there also then something uh, only 
this map based then afterwards or is it also then a story behind that you can build up some uh, like, like an imperium with, with, with your guiles and so on also not really in the game itself but you know that you um, harvested the resources that you get points for okay so there's, there's, things. There's, so right now currently there's there's four phases to what we're doing we're doing phase one um, which is essentially in the asteroids and phase two will take you down planet sides like Mars Ju Jupiter Uranus just love saying Uranus um, you know, so it's always fun to see. And then, and then it's just, you gotta say that. And then phase, phase three, we'll discover an alien race. I'm trying to talk Chris into letting us be, maybe we discovered the Van Duel or something, but we'll see if he wants to do that or not. And then phase four, we'll take you out interstellarly to, to other, other places. So, um, the first parts will be map based. Now, you will have choices to make in your mineral. There are some minerals that are special that you can use if you have a, 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 a if you, you have hard points on your ship, you can have up to six hard points. If you have, some of these things have a crafting system or a factory, and it takes a certain amount of certain types of minerals. They're specials, right? Hidden behind walls, through voxels. There's some that are hidden in lava, you know, things like that. You can mm -hmm. use those actually in the map itself to create like a mega bomb or something, or you can turn them in for more money. So it's going to be a choice you're going to make as you're playing the games. So firstly, oh, okay. it's map-based. There's not really a global thing. Um, at least at first. Well, that's going to depend. The truth of the matter is that depends. Our first phase one is um, the MOBA, but we have a stretch goal in there for a very large single-player campaign. But you know, I, you don't want to be presumptuous and say you're going to hit that. So that's yeah, what course, we'd like to course, get. Yeah. Yes, there is a mm -hmm. plan for that, but that's going to take. You know, it's going to have to take a very successful crowdfunding campaign. That's true, that's true. So it's like kind of, someone wrote that also in the chat, uh, kind of a crafting system you can directly use then in the maps and so on. You sure can. If, if, you have, <coughs> if you've chosen to put the factory uh, on the hard points, that's going to take two hard points. So you have, you have choices of what you put on your ship. And so if you've chosen to have that particular element, then you can then craft your own weapons. There'll be two or three or four weapons you can make with minerals that can help yep. your team. Okay, okay, so, but uh, these are then temporarily weapons uh, in that case. Well, yeah, well, they're, yeah, they're, they're one use, but they're yes, going to be so stinking use, yeah. powerful. <laughs> <laughs> stinking powerful. But yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's, like, it's like you can collapse tunnels, you can, you, you can set up shielding, you can, it's going to be very, very powerful. It'll be a huge area of effect weapon, you can drop it in and, you know, EMP, knock everybody shields out for a time, that yeah. kind of thing. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great! That's great. So it would be quite uh, dynamic in in that case. Then well, that's a choice. Well. You can choose. You can choose to use your resources for that, or you can choose to turn them in because you know you get more money that way, and you can then buy more stuff. Yeah. And um, the other thing that is more uh, uh, on my interest also is so when you fly these drones, uh, how you can, um, in example, say the speed of the game. Is it like more than when you say? Um, more unreal the, the speed, you know, so unreal tournament speed. So when you run around, or is it more than like Counter Strike? No, 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 it's a little bit slowly. Um, no, it's like this. If, did you ever play the game Descent back in the nineties? Yes, it's Descent speed. It's the same one. I saw it's. It's, it's not somewhere in that fast. neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, it's, not. Yeah, it's, so it's there. That, that everyone can adapt to it. Well, I don't know. I guess that's up to how good a pilot you are. Yeah, okay, let's say like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I can remember in, exam, uh, in example uh, a Doom in that case, this was so fast, and sometimes when you were not get used to it by so fast, you were killed a <laughs> million times. Oh, okay, oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying so okay, you know? so we have, we have eight ships, and each one of them adhere to an archetype, a typical ar archetype people like to play, from an assault, in-your-face guy, a tank, you know, a miner, a hauler, a medic, a repair. So we have things, you know, a scout, which is like a sniper. So we have things, we have different types. For the people that like to hang, we're going to let you, like, drill a hole in the wall and, you know, back in to where you're like a mm -hmm. sniper in, in edges of walls and shooting from a distance. You know, so there'll be all kinds of things for people to do. For the people that don't like a big twitch, real fast action game, you can you mm -hmm. can certainly play. Maybe you're the guy who wants to haul all the stuff. So you, you, you grab a, you, be, you know, you become the Leviathan or something. You have all this the cargo space or you know so it's gonna the, how you play the game is determined on your specific style so there'll be things for okay. people that are there'll be things for people that like to get in there and fight there'll be things for people that like to stay away there'll be things for people that are mixed so yeah it's it's up to you how you want to play we'll support all of that okay no because this is quite a interesting question in that case because uh, yeah some auto games so um, let's say 
um, PvP games in that case, you know, that everyone has the same speed or something like that. Oh, no, know, no, that's... no, that's not the way it is. We've got uh, all eight of our ships are different speeds. They're different okay. maneuverabilities. They're different, um, and they can all be upgraded. They're, they have different hauling ability, different mining abilities. They're all they're all specific to what their main task is. Now, they can all do a little bit of everything, but they're efficient at one thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, is there someone else here that has a question still? Ooh, I'm ready to launch. Yay. Yeah. Oh, you're ready to launch. So, <laughs> this means, are you ready for a short, let's say, if the time allows you, Hold on a minute. around with us? What's that, honey? It's almost 2 o'clock. Yeah, I, I, I cannot because I have to leave in 10 oh, minutes to take, yes. to take my son to soccer. Background. <laughs> yeah. We hit it background. Uh, yeah, so, you? let's see, maybe in another time. Yeah, yeah, that, that was Hot Wing. Hot Wing has, she, she's in control of the whole house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the same here, I have to admit. <laughs> I said you're in control of the whole house, honey. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just lucky to live here, man. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. It's also nice that uh, that she supports you with all that kind of oh, stuff. She's so a it's also she's quite uh, important, yes. Yes. So, and did she like the chocolate? <laughs> oh my god, she loved the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> do I have to resend one time some bags <laughs> over there? Yeah, do you want my address? <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure, for sure. <laughs> she just bumped into some sincere chocolate. She goes, Yeah, I love that chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so thank you, send thank you, thank you. <laughs> she says, Thank you. So send me your address and we will send off, send some. <laughs> they'll send you welcome and they'll send it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yes, uh, let's see um, now when you have to run. It was nice that you was uh, here for, even if it was a little bit short in that case, but it was quite welcomed and we really, 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 really uh, liked it. I think I speak for everyone here that this was a quite good uh, surprise or I'm wrong. Yeah, I could big surprise. No, it's fine. Now, look, you guys, Arimo's been great for us. On uh, it was fun meeting him in, in at Gamescom and doing a really cool interview. That was a blast, and you've been a big yeah. supporter. And, and listen, Germany is my favorite place in the world. So, um, yeah, I, there's no way I'd avoid coming here. So I wanted to come and say hi. That's great. So I think we will meet us for surely again, Dan. <laughs> listen, right now Gamescom is is coming up in August, and we'll plan to be there for. For the Senate Studios this year. From your so. yeah, cool. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, uh, we'll do a small, we'll do a smaller important. event. We'll we'll go back to the. I don't know how many of you guys were there, but we'll go back to the Hyatt and we'll have a beer garden event. Well, you know, Michael Moreland and I'll you film a live event. Ah, great. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I, it's a, I believe I it's a much fun, more yeah. personal experience. You know, I don't I don't like the I don't like to be separated. I think that we're all in this together, and that's why I feel that um, the development is is important to, to be done very very. Oh, we're yes, going to be sharing. Yeah. We're sharing things like schedule. We're looking at Jira right now and seeing if we can allow people to read Jira without editing it. Um, we have a confessional booth that we're setting up where people can get in and just live stream real quickly. Like you, if you remember the Wingman's, um, we used to do Wingman's uh, hangovers. I'm going to let the whole yes. team do those kind of things now, and so we're just oh, going to be great. much more open than than um, than what uh, we were we were doing at Star Citizen. I just believe in in uh, in letting people really in on everything. It's just important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It, th this is that what 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 uh, the people and the gamers saw also with Star Citizen. That is quite important User to get the people on board User and to do with channel. them together. Because you see, so uh, like that, you get the full support of them, and this is really really well, yeah. grateful. No, we're gonna. It's extremely grateful. We're we're gonna have a good time. We're, we're also we're also having uh, subscribers that will be allowed. We're gonna have a, the subscribers at our place are going to be allowed into a live design meeting every week. So. Yeah. Like we're doing here on TeamSpeak, they'll be, people will be able to log in and be participate in actual design meetings as we're designing the game. Because you know what, a good idea is a good idea. It doesn't matter where it came from. Yeah, th th this is true. This is true. Sometimes it can come from the darkest side of a little edge, but it would be great. Sometimes it can come and from only eating someone too much to find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, chocolate uh, with the. Uh, with a lucky hormone that it will, <laughs> yeah, there, there is a, a sentence like that, that I say, chocolate will produce more lucky hormones, you know, that's why maybe for that you get the ideas and all. Well, chocolate, cho 
Chocolate hurts wingman's weight. That's that's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the last time, the last time when I asked you there in um, in Cologne, uh, what's about your weight? You said, oh, you stopped with that. <laughs> 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 Are you started it again or what? Uh, I'm going to wait to start when we do um, the new show, and it's not going to be pretty to start with. It's going to be honest, and I found all the weight I lost, and then some. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. You just got to be honest and open with people, and I think that they appreciate that. So, we're, I think we're starting at about 240, 245, something like that. Yeah, which is okay. a lot of kilos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's quite. Uh, uh, let's say it's it's ambitious. <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it together. That's gonna be the fun part. You know, the cool thing is, some people come up to me and said, "Man, you got me to lose all this weight," and I'm like, "Well, I feel good for them, but I, I feel like, dang it, I should I should have." <laughs> you know, do you know what the funny part was? Do you know when I got off my diet? Cologne. No. <laughs> but don't tell me now. But don't tell me now. It was my chocolate. No, this was no, 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 no. It was before the chocolate. It was the year before, actually. We, it was. Uh, I had the. I had the. Um, the schnitzel. In I had four days in a row schnitzel. I love that place. <laughs> and maybe some coach. Yeah, oh, come yeah, on, some coach. <laughs> now I'm all the coach today to celebrate. This is the hell of it. Okay, so we had to I, invite I you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but but I think now we have to beer. get. Uh, I think now we have to get to an end because I think your wife will be standing behind you. And <laughs> yeah, she will be. <coughs> yeah. Listen, guys, thank think, you for, thank you very much. Yeah. Go, be sh go sign if you haven't signed up yet. Go sign up at the Senate Studios. At least sign up now so you'll get an update on when the things are going, and then you'll get your you'll get your gold wings, which will be gone in about a week. So um, at least get yeah. in on the ground floor. This is this is the golden ticket for our thing. So. Um, once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, so you hear that. Uh, we will also say that in German, that for the one that doesn't really understand okay. or have some problems to understand English, we will also say that uh, in the German way. But Wingman, Eric, thank you for being here. I hope in future we will also have maybe sometimes uh, the possibility that uh, you will fly with us around in a oh, yeah, yeah, little tournament. That would be great in that case. Trying to log into your stream right here, but it's not letting me. Oh, <laughs> so oh. I gave it to him. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I gave it to him. So yeah, this is at the moment. Yeah, this is at the moment Adama that you see. So, so you see that that that's not me. Uh, <laughs> or I'm getting younger and younger. That would be. That's not me. Oh, I've got hairs again. Yeah. Hey, wake up. That, thank you, Space Crawler. I appreciate that. Listen, I'm going to go. Guys, it's a pleasure. I'm going to bookmark yes. this, okay? So okay, that that's great. This. That's great. Thanks, so guys. So we let you go, and thank you for being here. And all Love you all. Thank son, you very much. That they win. That they Have win. fun with your son. Oh, yeah. He's going to have yeah. a good time. He's playing forward. He's playing striker today. So, oh. um, you know, By the way, do you know who his favorite team is? No. Don't say Bayern Munich. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. He wears his Bayern Munich jersey everywhere. He's a big Iron <laughs> Robin supporter. He's he's a huge Bayern Munich fan. See you guys later. See you. Okay, see you. Bye bye. bye. Puh. So, da ist er auch schon wieder weg. Da musste er gleich wieder weg. Da hatten wir die kurze Möglichkeit mit ihm ein bisschen rüber zu gehen, äh, ein bisschen mit ihm äh, zu quasseln hier. Was uns natürlich sehr erfreut. Ich hoffe, es war eine gelungene Überraschung für alle. Dass er kurz hier war. Ja, super. Auf jeden Fall. Fall. Tolle Sache, ja. Sehr geil, super. sehr, sehr cool. Ja. Weil, leider habe ich nicht geschaltet. Man hätte das ja mal ganz kurz im Original Baker setzen können. Ne? Ringman in CNR und hier auf dem Channel. Da hätte er mal hier noch einen Link posten können von seinem Forum oder so. Hat er jetzt gerade. Ja, das das wurde, aber schon, wurde aber gepostet. Das, das wurde ja schon. Ich habe genau das verpasst. Ich war gerade hier, wa? Nee, nee, das wurde schon gemacht. Aber sehr nice. So, guck, er hat auch, auch gerade selber gelinkt. Destin Studios. <lacht> was muss man tun, um seine Golden Wings zu bekommen? <lacht> muss dich anmelden. Nur ja, muss dich anmelden im Forum, in seinem Forum, Altman. Chelsea's Travis Wife, yes, that's right. Ja, <lacht> 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 yeah, because 
Travis Day und Chelsea Day, Day Cold. Also haben die Nachnamen beide. Okay, das sieht man, wenn man auf, äh, auf Facebook geht. Da sieht man es. Du, also wenn ihr das Bild verbreitet, vergesst nicht hinzuschreiben natürlich DescentStudios.com, äh, dass alle wissen, woher das kommt. Dann können wir schon mal das erste Bild exklusiv natürlich. Ihr habt jetzt die Möglichkeit, die ersten sein, die das Bild da weitergeben und schon ein bisschen die Leute lustig machen, sag ich mal. Super Sache. Dann freuen wir uns natürlich, wenn das soweit ist, wenn das losgeht. Sind wir natürlich alle gespannt. Und ähm, wie gesagt, hat er gesagt auch, also am Anfang hat er gesagt, ja, er fliegt eine Runde mit und so, aber es hat jetzt leider nicht gereicht. Das heißt, wir werden sicher mal ein anderes Mal etwas vorbereiten. Vielleicht auch spontan, wer weiß. Ja, der Patch äh, kam halt dazwischen. Ja, der Patch kam dazwischen. Es war ein bisschen blöd. Aber es war ja auch gut. Und so. Es war ja auch ein bisschen Promotion für seine Seite, für sein neues Projekt und so. Wer es vielleicht noch nicht kannte, in der Hinsicht, ähm, jetzt soll ich es erkennen. Kannst du die Seite nochmal reinposten? Äh, äh, ja, wurde doch gerade da oben. Äh, Opinotus hat es nochmal noch gepostet. gepostet. Moment, wenn du ich mach's gerade nochmal. Da bin ich extrem ja. blind. Ich so, jetzt mache ich nochmal. Da kommt es noch dreimal. <lacht> Ach so, in Twitch. Genau. Bim, 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 bim. In Twitch, ja, ja. Ah. In Twitch, ja, ja. ja, ja ah, du sorry, musst sie drin haben? Okay, Moment, ich kann es drin kurz channel. machen. Hey, jetzt habe ich auch. So, wunderbar. Brrrring, <lacht> brrrring, <lacht> <lacht> Jackpot. Hey. Jackpot. Gib mir so. einen Ping. Nur eins. Genau. So, also, das war eine gute Interruption, sage ich mal. Ich denke mal, das hat nichts zum Abbruch getan. Dass wir jetzt weiter die... Ähm, Tournaments äh, veranstalten. Wir haben ja gesagt, 21.30 Uhr, das heißt, wir haben ja ein bisschen Zeit hier jetzt. 21.30 Uhr, 30 Minuten noch. Ähm, ich muss ja jetzt wieder übernehmen, ich, meine, ich bin ja dran. Nein, ich habe damals sogar eine Stunde länger gemacht. Dankeschön, Hammer, für das. Dafür nicht. Ich musste mich wirklich ein bisschen zusammen, also es war eine super Überraschung auf jeden Fall. Ja. Ich hatte so einen leichten Zittrigen ja. sogar teilweise. Ich dachte, oh, oh, oh Promi-Besuch. Oh, 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 oh. Ja, so ein bisschen Gänsehaut hat die auch. Das war schon cool, ja. ja. Jetzt auch gegen ihn Aber fliegen ja, und dann, dann wäre der Tag perfekt gewesen. Aber kommt dann noch.